I'm here with Prashant, representative yeah, Prashant, of Shaving. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. So we're, we're wandering around, we're checking out different things at the SEMA show here, and we see this engine. This engine looks like nothing I've ever seen. What is, what is this here? So what it is, is it's a, it's a crate motor. So really, it is a crate electric motor, oh not, electric, not a crate engine. But uh, what we are promoting here is it's a Connect and Cruise e-crate motor concept here. So basically, um, this is a direct swap for uh, any uh, LS type GM small block engine, right? Wow. It's got a bell housing bolt pattern in the back. Um, the shaft of the electric motor represents a uh, crankshaft flange. So it, it bolts directly to a four-speed automatic transmission. Oh my. So what, and uh, a really good example of that is this uh, Chevy uh, C10 uh, pickup truck, which yeah, is we... now E10, right? Right. So we got two of these motors in this truck uh, and a 4L75 transmission engine and a conventional drive line. And uh, all the high voltage power electronics and the batteries are from uh, Chevy Bolt. Right, okay. again, those are proven batteries, a proven high voltage uh, power electronics for safety, so that's why we picked that. Uh, but the main concept here is really promoting the E-Crate uh, Connect and Cruise uh, package. Well, that's really interesting. Now, I, I read here it's still in development, right? It's development. I, I'm assuming you're going to have different versions of this? Yes. With exactly. different performance options, exactly. range. And, and the cool thing is that this electric motor, it really works from 350 to 800 volt range, right? Wow. I mean, you can play any games you want between that volt range, right? Depending on what battery you have, what, what current you can bring to that motor, right? And, and what kind of controller or inverter you have. So that, it totally depends on that. I'll be honest, when we were at the reveal show the other day, I saw this truck. It, it goes up on stage really quickly. I was expecting a lot of noise. And nothing. Yep. So it's and enough. then we learned about this e-crate con concept. It's it's crazy. It is. So uh, last year we had an e-copo at the SEMA yep. show. So electric that. copo Camaro. Yep. Uh, and we raced that at many tracks. So right. it was uh, purely designed for uh, for the drag racing. This year uh, it's more production parts and more designed for the street use, like right. range. Uh, like yeah. the, the goal, the whole concept, uh, the, the idea of this project was uh, hot rod power tool. So next year, 2020, we're taking this truck to the hot rod power tool. Oh my gosh. Right. So seven days, seven cities, we wanted to make sure we have enough range for that. Right. And that's what really this project is. Right. So. Uh, that's, it's really exciting and you know, the way the industry is going, you know, we're gonna have gasoline engines for a long time, but moving towards a lot of electric, right? It yes. opens up a lot of options for people. Absolutely. And that is just amazing that we have this, now this option, you can do a swap yep. of an E-Crate engine. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, thank you, appreciate that. All right, well, thank you for your time. Yes, thanks for stopping by.